Hello, I'm Edward Tart, once a Catholic priest for five years in the 1960s, now an atheist, which means I find no credible evidence for the existence of any God. This is the third in a series of videos about my email dialogue with a local Catholic priest, Father TJ. Here is a picture of him from a video that his church made. In this video, I will go over some threads in our dialogue. Referring to his belief in heaven and hell and my lack of belief in any afterlife, he asked me, quote, What if I am right, meaning what if I, Father T.J., am right, what if God exists and heaven is a place where all pain and sorrow cease? Well, I am not sure that I gave him my best answer, but here is what I said to him in reply. Then I will go to hell, but I see no more likelihood of that being the case than that Santa Claus exists, so I am not worried about it. If my local Baptist adversary, Reverend Paul Lyle, is correct, then you are not a true Christian, and both you and I will go to hell. But I see no likelihood that he is correct. If you had been brought up in a Muslim culture, the overwhelming odds are that you would be a Muslim convinced that all Christians and all atheists will go to hell. But that is not correct. If you had been brought up in a culture that believed in the god Zeus, you would be convinced that Zeus exists, and so forth. T.J. has not responded to those observations of mine, except in his latest email, he thanked me for having strengthened his faith. So that is one thread of our dialogue. Here is another. I invited him to watch my Dilemma video. In it, I list many ways in which his biblical God is an evil monster, and I give multiple annotations saying where to find these in the Bible. T.J. told me he would watch that video. He has not responded specifically to it, but he did say that he would never budge. Well, that makes him very different from me. I am willing to budge. As I say in another of my videos, if any God would communicate directly with us in a perfectly clear, unambiguous way, I would never become a believer. I would become a knower. I would know that that God exists. I am willing to budge. And now here is another thread. Concerning the first video in this series, Father TJ told me that he watched it and that he also read the comments. He said, the hearts of those who watch your videos are so hard that they can't be cracked by a jackhammer. You viewers, I invite you to go to that video. You can follow the link below and look over the comments. Do you agree with TJ? I replied to him that many of my viewers are going to be bewildered by that jackhammer comment of his. On the other hand, some days after that, there were about three commenters who I thought were unfair to Father T.J. I pointed that out in the comments section. Father T.J. noticed that and said to me, You stand up to those who unfairly attack my position, and you try to convince them to be as open-minded as you are. I really appreciate that. So that is another thread. Here are a few more brief excerpts. Elsewhere, Father T.J. said to me, For what it is worth, I'll pray for your battle against cancer. I had no idea that was going on with you. I hope you have many more years here so that you can keep teaching math and keep playing the piano. In one of his emails to me, T.J. concludes, May God pour out his blessings upon Father Tart and all those who watch his videos.
In his most recent email to me, which I received just a couple of hours ago, he concludes, May God continue to bless you on your journey back to Him. To which I now reply, TJ, I am not on a journey back to your God. If any of you would like to leave Father TJ a polite comment, I invite you to do so. I plan to make more videos in this series, including one in which I play for you a portion of one of Father TJ's sermons that he sent me, and we can offer him feedback. To all of you, thank you for watching this video.